I would offer that there are four key questions that need to be asked before embarking on any job search. And further, I'd suggest that those questions need to be asked in a specific syntax or order so that you get the most value from your strategic career thinking and ultimately the best job search result. Many people, including myself, are naturally tempted to jump straight to the how to do something before asking and answering some key questions first. And by the way, all of these questions are questions that I ask my career coaching clients as we start working together. Hello, my name is Stephen Wright. I'm a career coach here at Career Mentor, and we help high-performing financial services professionals make their next smart career move. So when I say four questions, well, actually, there are many more questions than that. But what I've done in this short video is to bunch them together under four question headings to make it easier to go through. So the first question that we want to ask and answer for ourselves is what? What is the next job? What is, what is it that I want to do? We need to have a specific target and the more clarity that we have around that, the better. And often this is a journey of discovery. And perhaps the place to start is by asking ourselves, what is it that you want to achieve at this point in your career and in this chapter of your life? What are your overarching career objectives that flow naturally from what it is that you've been doing so far and reflect your emotional needs and your current values? What is your mission? And how does that mission play into your career and your current job? Then perhaps ask yourself, well, what are the job options that I have in front of me? And then evaluate each of those job options as to how well that particular option will play into and meet my big picture career objectives. Finally, we can think about career trajectory. So why did you get into this business in the first place? Why are you still in it? And broadly speaking, where do you feel that your eventual career destination is going to be? Remember that the skills and experiences that you have acquired so far should provide a path, but perhaps not limit your career possibilities. The next question that we want to ask ourselves is the why. Why it is that you want to have this job? And we're using this question in a way to gain motivation and purpose. So we can use questions both in a positive and negative way, as I'll give examples of now. Let's use it in the positive way first. So ask yourself why it is that you want this job. How will you benefit and how will your career benefit when you get this next job? How will it benefit you and your loved ones when you get this new job? What will it mean in terms of who you become and the personal growth opportunities that you have when you get this new job? Perhaps we can use the negative and ask questions like, what will it cost you should you not get this new job? Having a deeply compelling and heartfelt reason as to why you must get this next job will give you the emotional fuel to carry through on this journey. And without it, any initial enthusiasm that you might have had may become faltering and your efforts a bit half-hearted. Just a side note on the question why, when we're seeking purpose and, and motivation, why is a very powerful question and completely appropriate. But if you find yourself asking the question why in some other context, then perhaps sometimes you can end up in an endless loop question, which is not the, necessarily the most empowering thing in the world. So just be careful about when you find yourself asking the question why. So now we're into the how. How is it that we're going to get this job? And we're into the nitty gritty of actually making this happen now. But notice that we didn't get into the tyranny of how to do something until we become really clear about what it is that we're trying to achieve and why we're trying to achieve it. The how is about a whole load of things that just need to be got right. Having a really compelling value proposition and a CV and a LinkedIn profile, which are in a really good state and reflect that value proposition. How to market yourself effectively to your chosen audience and knowing how to implement on the seven ways to identify and get in front of key decision makers, how to do really well at job interviews and how to manage the entire job search campaign, including managing our emotions through that journey. Whilst the focus of this video is not how to do things, clearly getting all of these elements right is crucial to the job search. The final question is who? I was in executive search in financial services for over 22 years and now as a career coach I feel very safe in saying that a successful job search is rarely, if ever, a solo effort. So who can you reach out to for help in your job search? Who in your network, which of course you have been serving 
and looking after and nurturing assiduously over the last few years? Who in your network can you speak to? Who's going to be by your side and supporting you through thick and thin? Who might become a fellow job-seeking accountability buddy? And who can you find who's going to give you really high quality job transition and career coaching? And who might you find that is relevant and highly credible in your area of endeavor who might be able to give you some references and perhaps even write a recommendation on your LinkedIn profile? So you can see there are a lot of who's involved here and it's definitely not a solo effort. Asking, answering, hopefully on paper and not just in your head, and then acting on the answers to these questions will give you a really solid foundation for an effective job search. Acting every day with clarity and purpose and intention will not only give you better results and faster results, but will give you a real sense of certainty that you have thought things through really thoroughly and that you have a chart with which to navigate. If you're currently engaged in a job search or about to start a job search and you feel that a free coaching call with me would be really helpful, then please do get in touch. There's plenty of ways to do that through our website and also my contact details on my LinkedIn profile. And I look forward to hearing from you in due course. I'll be, be, I'll be putting the blog that I wrote about this in the comments below. And thanks very much.